hydrocarbons so hydrocarbons means hydrogen so the organic compound containing hydrogen and carbon hydrogen and carbon so those compounds are called as hydrocarbons so these hydrocarbons are generally we daily life we use in the preparation of natural gases like lpg liquid petroleum gas or cns cng compressed natural gas so different types of fuels or different types of materials are most of the sources so generally the hydrocarbons are the important source of human life are important source of energy so these hydrocarbons generally the hydrocarbons are classified into three types so these are classified into three types they are so first one is saturated hydrocarbon and second one unsaturated hydrocarbon and third one is aromatic hydrocarbon means these all hydrocarbon containing only hydrogen and carbon so these are three types saturated hydrocarbon unsaturated hydrocarbon and aromatic hydrocarbon in that first one saturated hydrocarbon so this saturated hydrocarbon in between the hydrogen and carbon only single bond is present in between the hydrogen and carbon single bond is present such hydrocarbons are called as saturated hydrocarbon in saturated hydrocarbon in saturated hydrocarbon only sigma bonds are present in between the carbon and hydrogen only sigma bond is present so there is no pi bond next the saturated hydrocarbon general formula is cn h2n plus 2 so this is the general molecular formula of saturated hydrocarbon that is for here this is generally the saturated hydrocarbon main example is alkane alkane that alkane general formula is cn h2n plus 2 in alkane carbon in between the carbon and hydrogen single bond is present that is your sigma bond now applicable for this one if you consider n n equal to number of carbons here number of carbons are 1 if i whenever the one the c1 h2 into 1 plus 2 that is equal to c1 plus 2 plus 2 that is nothing but your ch4 that is here one carbon meet here the unsaturated primary suffix is ain so the saturated primary suffix is ain the total name is methane or if you applicable any exa any simple one for example if you applicable for n equal to 4 whenever the n equal to 4 what happen if it is n equal to 4 that is equal to c4 2 into 4 8 8 plus 2 10 c4 h10 that is your butane four carbons but plus ain butane or if it is n equal to 6 whenever n equal to 6 that is equal to cn cn means c6 so 2 into 6 12 12 12 plus 2 14 c6 h14 here 6 carbon 6 carbon means what is the root word x plus here saturation the primary suffix is ain exane so means the saturated hydrocarbon alkane general formula is cn h2n plus 2 okay so these are the examples and next in saturated hydrocarbon of alkane generally in alkanes are generally undergoes sp3 hybridization so this is undergoes sp3 hybridization okay so one s orbital three p orbitals so undergoes mixing it produces sp3 hybridized orbitals now in alkane generally the bond angle is 109 degrees 5 minutes so this is your bond angle in alkane so bond angle of alkane is 109 degrees 
5 minutes and next one this alkanes so generally alkanes is uh, for example lpg in uh, cns cng so in different materials we use different types of alkanes so because the hydrocarbons are the important source of energy and next one the hydrocarbons so in the hydrocarbons alkanes so iupac iupac nomenclature of alkane iupac nomenclature of alkane so in that alkane first right root word so means what is the parent carbon for that parent carbon your addition with primary suffix that is ane for example if you write like this simple straight chain ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 so your total how many number of carbons are there total four carbons are present four carbons means what is the name of this one four carbon means what is your root word but 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 okay for this one but your suffix so primary suffix is all are in between the carbon and hydrogen sigma bond is present means single bond if it is single bond the suffix is ane so butane so like that for example so ch3 ch ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 for this one you give the numbering for so you select a longest chain so 1 2 3 4 5 means here number of carbons are 5 if it is the number of carbons are 5 here root word is pent okay here root word is pent and here all are saturated means pentane but this is here at second position one methyl group is there so that is your 2 methyl pentane so this iupac name is 2 methyl pentane because at second position one substrate group is there there is your alkyl group so methyl so one carbon means meth there is your alkyl methyl so 2 methyl pentane or if you applicable for another example so if it is your consider straight chain okay if you consider a straight chain your number of carbons are total six carbons are there so six carbons means what is your root word x all are saturated means hexane but this is your which manner straight manner so that's it is called as an hexane so this is also same normal chain normal chain means like this so this is called as n chain okay and this one is neo chain so branched chain so iso chain neo chain for example ch3 ch ch3 ch3 sir ch2 ch3 okay for this see i select one longest chain for 1 2 3 4 or 1 2 3 4 it means in any manner the longest chain containing total only four carbons at second position one substrate group is there so this is our substrate or either this one so what is the name of this one two methyl butane because four carbons two methyl butane okay so this is your iupac nomenclature of alkane means in parent carbon you write first straight chain number of carbons and follows primary suffix that is ane so iupac nomenclature of alkane and next one isomerism isomerism of alkane okay generally alkanes are shows structural isomerism means what is our what is our structural isomerism same molecular formula but differ in their structure such isomers are called as structural isomers that phenomena or that process is called as structural isomerism so alkanes are exhibit structural isomerism generally the structural isomerisms are classified into different types chain isomerism positional isomerism functional group isomerism metamerism and tautomerism in that 
especially alkanes are exhibit chain isomerism so alkanes are exhibit chain isomerism property so chain isomerism means same molecular formula the molecule containing same molecular formula but differ in their chain that is called a chain isomerism for example for example this one hexane what is the hexane formula c6 h14 okay the c6 h14 exhibit different types of chain isomers like for example if you read a straight chain how many carbons are there total six carbons ch3 ch2 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 ch3 see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 six carbons are there total how many hydrogens here 14 3 plus 2 5 here 3 plus 2 5 10 10 plus 2 12 12 plus 2 14 so this is a straight chain if it is straight chain okay general name is if it is straight chain what is the name of this one yeah normal chain an exane because six carbons and all are saturated an exane that is our one isomer same molecular formula now differ in their substituent position ch ch3 ch2 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay. so remember 1 2 3 4 5 here six carbons total six carbons are there now here number of hydrogens 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 3 13 13 plus 1 14 so same molecular formula so but what is the name of this one here total five the longest chain containing how many carbons only are five carbons okay means pentane because this is what saturated means pentane but this is which pentane two methyl pentane 2 methyl pentane ok so this is our one name and another name another chain isomer is third one if you applicable a third position at second position methyl group is there this methyl group is now written in a third position so now what is the change CH3 CH2 CH CH3 CH2 CH3 See here, in any manner, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In any manner, the longest chain containing how many carbons total? Only 5 carbons. So, same molecular formula again. So, remember, so C3 plus 2, 5, 3 plus 2, 5, 10, 10 plus 3, 13, 13 plus 1, 14. So, same molecular formula C6H14, but name is, at third position is, methyl group is there. 3 methyl so total all are total 5 carbons root word is pent all are saturated 3 methyl pentane ok so this is another chain isomer and another one same molecular formula now represent see here at second position methyl group is there now you can write another methyl group on second position so means CH3 C CH3 Again here, CH3. Next one is CH2. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 6. See here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6 carbons are present. Okay, total 6 carbons are present. Now, what is the name of this one? See here, at second position, 2 positions are there. 2 comma 2 dimethyl. Okay, the longest chain containing only four carbons, that is butane, two comma two dimethyl butane. So again, same molecular formula: three plus three, six; six plus three, nine; and nine plus three. So next two, total fourteen hydrogens are present. And last one, see here, at second position methyl group is there. Now we can write again. Third position is methyl group. So what's the name? CH three. C CH3 H again CH CH3 so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay 1 2 3 4 so there 3 3 3 3 total 
4 into 3 and you have two hydrogens okay 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 6 12 13 14 so but what is the name at second position methyl group third position methyl group so 2 comma 3 methyl means dimethyl 2 comma 3 dimethyl butane okay so means you can observe a b c so you cannot write like this this is first one this is your second one so one two three four five all are having same molecular formula all are exhibit c6 h12 sorry h14 molecular formula but differ in arrangement of chain so differ in their chain so this is your straight chain this is your substrate at second position methyl group here third position methyl group at second position two methyl groups at second and third position again methyl group means alkanes are exhibit chain isomerism means they are they are containing same molecular formula but differ in their chain okay so this is your iupac nomenclature of alkane and isomerism of alkane